Garden Patch Guide. The Garden Patch is so underrated. It is a really efficient way to farm material resources and decorate your base. After this video, I am sure that the next thing you will be doing is building a Garden Patch farm. Since the Hot and Hazy update, there are six things you can plant on the Garden Patch and two things you can use as boosters. Timestamps were added to this guide to you jump around the video if you are searching for a specific thing about the Garden Patch. Plant Fiber Glover Leaf Sprig Mushroom Mushroom Chunk and toadstool chunk are the things you can plant on the garden patch. With spoiled meat, you can speed up the growth time by 10% for each one you add to a max of 50%. Each plant has a different growth time. With the rotten food, you can increase the garden thumb chance by 10% for each one you add to a max of plus 50%. Each plant starts with a different green tub chance. Green tub chance is the possibility of plants growing bigger and giving more materials when harvested, but it doesn't work with all of them. You can also do a mixed composition between spoiled meat and rotten food, depending on your needs. Let's check the growth result of each one of the plants when affected by the green tub chance and when not. Plant Fiber Without the green tub effect, you get one plant fiber, the same as you find in the backyard. With the green tub effect, a grass stub grows. Each stub gives five plant fibers. Clover Leaf Without the green tub effect, gives three leaves. With the green tub effect, only changes how it looks and still gives the same three leaves, so it is not worth using rotten food when planting clover leaves. Sprig. Without the green tub effect, gives one sprig, the same found in the backyard. With the green tub effect, a sprig bouquet will grow. Each bouquet gives four sprigs. Mushroom, without the green tub effect, gives one mushroom, the same found in the backyard. With the green tub effect, a mushroom bloom grows, and instead of a mushroom, gives a mushroom chunk when harvested. This is one of the best plants to use rotten food. It cuts by 24 hours the time to grow and harvest mushroom chunks, if you are lucky to get four of them. Toadstool Chunk Without the green tub effect, gives three toadstool chunks. With the green tub effect, it seems a little bit bigger, but it still gives the same three toadstool chunks. So, it is not worth using rotten food when planting toadstool chunks. The same thing happens with the mushroom chunk. But instead of three, the mushroom gives four mushroom chunks. If you are planning to grind them for mushroom slurry, three toadstool chunks still gives more mushroom slurry than four mushroom chunks. I can see on the next grounded updates more plants being added to the garden patch and its importance growing as new content is added to the game. If you have any doubt about the garden patch or anything else on grounded, leave a comment below and I will help you. Don't forget to subscribe to Spy to watch more content on Grounded and you can now be a member of the channel, which includes memberships that give monthly games for free. Be part of the Spy Academy. It's okay, I'll let you spy on me.